Hi, I'm James Wilkinson and I've been a travel editor for over 20 years. On this show, we're going to take you to some of the world's most amazing destinations, from the big cities to the great regional areas. We'll go inside some of the world's best hotels, bars, restaurants, galleries and much more. Right now, we're in Adelaide, South Australia and this is Wayfair. One of my favourite wine regions anywhere in the world is McLaren Vale here in South Australia. Now to show me around, I've enlisted the help of Ben Neville from Off Pist Four Wheel Drive Tours. Thanks James, great to have you here in McLaren Vale. Been running for 10 years, local, grew up running through the vines here. We've got a great day sorted. We're gonna be meeting winemakers, uh, a distillery, uh, great restaurants, beautiful views. We're just gonna get our adventure on. Let's go. Let's go. One of my favourite restaurants in Australia, Slopey and Inn. Let's head inside. Well, we're here at the Slopey and Inn, one of my favourite restaurants in McLaren Vale, and you guys are having a lot of fun in this place, aren't you? We are. We've been here for eight years now, um, and the menu changes constantly, which does make it fun, keeps it interesting, keeps it new for customers. And you're in the heart of like Foodie Central, like yeah. McLaren Vale with the food, the wine, the experience, yep. it's beautiful. Yeah, and that's what we're aiming to do. So when you come here, we want you to see McLaren Vale on the place. So we want to see, you know, what we're growing, what's in season, what's coming from our garden, and what's coming from other growers. And what are some of the fun things you're playing with? You're known for your dumplings. Everyone drives here for the dumplings, <laughs> right? <laughs> they do. Look, the dumplings are a long obsession. Um, I love rolling them, and they're just, they're great little moments of flavour. So the dumplings are always on. Um, but we play around with a lot of um, seafood. We get really great seafood from Fairfish, South Australia, so it's all yep. locally caught. Um, and then, of course, our local meats are always fantastic. And you're well known for your artworks in here too, so yeah. it's kind of like an art gallery experience with it the beautiful is. food. Yeah, and look, the food, the art was really important that we showed local Indigenous art as well. It's from a few mobs from around the country, but there's definitely some Ghana art here as well. And, then, and if you look at sort of how you do it, you style it really well, you have a lot of fun with the dishes and it's just really great food. Yeah, well, there's lots of energy goes into it, so I'm really hoping that comes through in the customer experience. Now, from a local produce standpoint, how good is McLaren Park? Oh, amazing. Like, we really are amazing. You know, I, I get to travel normally um, and I get to look around the world and our produce is beautiful, it's clean, it's GMO free. A lot of it's grown biodynamically or organically. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's fresh and it's abundant. Now, how do you remotely choose a wine list in here? Um, well, we've got to support local <laughs> because we believe in it and it is magnificent. Um, we've got a very strong Shiraz and Grenache. Um, cellar down there, yep. um, and, but we love comparing our local wines with an international um, equivalent or yep. similarity, so people can have a real look. Yeah. Um, and we love having wines, you know, from really reasonable um, right up through to some fairly exquisite bottles of wine down there. Yeah. That's awesome. Have you got a couple of favourite products you like working with around the area? Um, I love, as I mentioned before, the Kurong mullet that I get. So Kurong Wild Fisheries is really dear to me and what they're doing down there is pretty special. So I love their seafood, carp, mullet um, and mulloway. Um, and then for me, kangaroo, I really enjoy working with. Um, it's a hugely sustainable meat and it's delicious. And, you know, getting people to eat it in the restaurant also encourages people to buy it at home. And, you know, that can really make some changes um, environmentally for all of us. Well, thank you so much for having us. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for coming. Mate, thanks for bringing us here. That food was fantastic. How good are the dumplings? It was awesome. Glad you enjoyed it. I reckon next stop, yep. we'll go to one of our key wineries in the area, yep. Hazel Grove. Let's do it. We've got to meet the senior winemaker, Alex. Mate, sounds great. One of the leading producers in the region is Hazel Grove, which makes a number of brilliant reds and whites. Now, while they don't have a cellar door as yet, we stop by to get an expert's opinion on McLaren Vale from the legendary winemaker, Alex Shira. I'm obviously biased, but you know, I love McLaren Vale, but it, it, it's truly one of, you know, one of the unique wine regions in Australia, let alone the world. Um, it is, and it's truly maritime. So, you know, we talk about regions being next to the sea. Um, we are, you know, next to the sea. So we've got vineyards, you know, which are within, you know, two kilometers of the sea. Um, so, 
the, the ocean provides us you know, a very moderate climate, um, so we avoid the, the heat spikes and the, and the cool spikes that you get more inland. Now let's head over to one of McLaren Vale's hottest spots, Chalk Hill. Cool James, here we are next up, Chalk Hill, beautiful reds, also home to our wonderful Never Never Gin, one of my favourites. Awesome, let's check it out. Love to. Tom, thank you so much for your time. We're here at Chalk Hill Wines in McLaren Vale and mate, you've got a great thing going on here. You've got a distillery, two wine labels, pizzas, what a fantastic spot. Oh, it's intended to be a place that you can come down, settle down for the day and just, you know, a feast of the senses almost. Now tell us about your wines, because this is obviously your family labels Chalk Hill, which we have here. Tell us a bit about uh, what you have on offer from a wine standpoint. So there's about 23 different wine wines that we make across the two labels. And when I say two labels, it's just because when we make Chalk Hill, when we export it, because of uh, the regulations, we export generally under a different label called Alpha Crucis, and that's our premium tier wines. Uh, so we've got a, a broad range, so we've pretty much got a wine for everyone when they come here. And Aussies get to enjoy that now, obviously if it was being exported, which it will be again in the future soon, but now it's on offer here as well for us to enjoy. Absolutely, we've got to make sure that um, we keep some of the best stuff here as well, so there's nothing that uh, we're not sending the best stuff overseas anymore, it's uh, yeah. staying here in Australia. And you've been in the wine game for a long time down here, and how important is producing world class Shiraz for this part of the world? Oh, it's vital. Um, my history goes back six generations. My family started uh, growing grapes here in 1839 and since then we've pretty much stayed with the tried and tested ones. So Shiraz for example, um, of the red grape variety, it makes up nearly 80% of McLaren Vale. It's just a, it's a mainstay. And so we've got sort of eight different Shirazes that we can taste, all in different styles, at different price points. And uh, yeah, it's sort of, again, a feast for the senses in Shiraz. So you come in to drink reds, but you're probably gonna walk out buying a white, because the, the, the region's getting a lot more well known for its whites now too, isn't it? Perfect um, accompaniment to food is sort of what we're aiming for. So, and we can't leave out the white and rosé segment of the market. So we're looking for fresh, bright, vibrant white wines that have got beautiful palate structure that are gonna complement some of the lighter dishes um, chicken, fish based dishes, um, but then again moving into reds, we're also looking for wines with that purity balance and, um, and sort of palate length that's able to accompany both richer Mediterranean style or um, southern European style dishes as well. Alright Tom, what have we got here? So this is our Alpha Crucis winemaker series. It's a world first unique concept. Um, which is looking very much at what the influence of winemaker over the same parcel of grapes is. So it's a beautiful evaluation of the personality of a winemaker coming through in wines. That is stunning. So what we've got is one vineyard, six winemakers. They each get six rows, they take it back to their winery, they make the wine as best as they can. And then once it's had time in oak, we bottle it um, all together, and so we've got six different wines coming through. So it's really uh, a beautiful expression, but it is um, unique in its proposal. So, so it's the same vineyard, just the grapes have been given to six different winemakers in different parts of SA as well, and hit, go away, do your take on it, and bring it back. That's basically Absolutely. how we have it. Wow. And uh, all of these wines score very high, like we've got 96, 97 points from James Halliday. Um, but it is, it's a great little tasting that we do. Well mate, good to see you. We're here at Never Never, one of the hottest gins in the country. Congrats on your success. Tell us what's the little secret. Thanks so much. Well, we just put a heap of juniper in it. <laughs> what our biggest focus is on is, is flavour. We use a process which is all about amplification and concentrating flavour in the distillation process. And that just shows up in the gin and tonics that we make and the cocktails that we deliver. Now, what's so special about your gins? Obviously, you've won so many beautiful medals for your work. So 
tell us a bit about what makes yours so special. So what we go through is a, a triple juniper process and through that process we actually create flavour through three different methods. Through steeping the juniper berries, through pot distilling them and also vapour distilling them. So having that is the heart of every single gin that we make here yeah. at the distillery. It certainly has, goes a long way in being able to actually create the flavours that we, that we are so well known for. And you're very well priced too. Some gins are getting very expensive. You're pricing it just about right, aren't you? Yeah, well, for us it was always about making sure that it was affordable on shelf. The, the idea of exploring flavour at a great price point was, was really paramount for us in the decisions we made early on. When it comes to a G&T, how important is the second component of that, the tonic? The, like when, it, when it comes to gin and tonics, like the most important thing for us was making a great gin from the get-go and by making it juniper forward, that was always going to work in a gin yeah. and tonic. There's a science behind that combination of flavour and there's yeah. scientific flavours, co chemical compounds you can find in quinine, which is the main ingredient in tonic, and juniper, which when they're combined together in a glass, make a delicious drink. Yeah. And that's why we went juniper, juniper heavy. You got a favourite of the three kids? Uh, I always get in trouble. We have actually just made a new gin, which is the very first time we've used flavours from the region. Uh, our Med Gin, which is in our Dark Series labelling, yeah. uh, was the first time that we actually started using ingredients from just down the road. So we're using olives, Kalamata olives from Lloyd Brothers just around the corner. We're using almonds that are grown in Port Wollonga. We're using oranges from the township. They all combine to create this wonderful expression of McLaren Vale. And I have to admit, I've got a real soft spot for a dirty martini and that is a cracker when it comes to that particular cocktail. I'll have to grab a bottle of that before I go. Hey, grab two, why not? <laughs> awesome, thanks for having us. What a pleasure. Thanks, thanks mate. Thanks for coming out. Let's hit the beach now and score a table at one of the best restaurants in South Australia. Well Doug, thanks so much for your time. We're here at the beautiful Star of Greece in McLaren Valley in South Australia and I think one of my favourite restaurants in the country and it's not hard to see why. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, location, location, location. Simple as that. And great food. Absolutely. We've got a fantastic um, group in the kitchen, yeah. uh, headed up by Brett, and um, he's been here a few years now and doing great things. And you really do showcase the best of the region, like the wine list, yep. the local produce. It's, yep. it's a lot of fun for you. Yeah, totally. So we've got some fabulous um, fish that we pull out of the ocean here. We've got, uh, you know, great farms where we get the meat from, so it's just, it's great. Yeah, and what's your, what's your favourite thing about coming here? You've, you've had it for 10 years and uh, you've got to pub up the street. What, what's so special for you about this when you come and have a drink here? It's one of a kind. There's nothing along the coast, that, anything like this, not with the views. Um, you've got not only views of the ocean, but you've got views of the cliffs down that way and that way. It's spectacular. Have you got a favourite dish that I should be uh, ordering for? Uh, I love King George Whiting because it comes from locally and um, it, that's probably my favourite. And it's such a foodie scene. Amazing restaurants, amazing wineries, all throughout the entire peninsula. Isn't it? Yes, absolutely. We've got some of the best wineries in the world right on our doorstep, and uh, not only do we use their wines here, but they all come here and eat and drink as well. And that's part of the fun. I always see winemakers in here. Yes. Yeah, it's a, one of the winemakers' favourite spots. Um, along with the Victory Hotel up the road. Um, yeah, it's great. And a few of them actually have said they'd love to go for a swim and then pop up and have a glass of wine here when they're done. Absolutely. We've had people who've come here for lunch, uh, gone for a swim and then come up for dinner. Yeah. And um, this is like when you talk about iconic restaurants, it's a fun restaurant, iconic restaurant, but it's no Greek food, is there? No, it's named after the Star of Greece, which sank in uh, 1888. Uh, a few people perished um, and it's been and it was named after that boat. So people sometimes think they're coming here for um, Greek food, but uh, it, there's not too much Greek food. Awesome, mate. Well, thank you for having us. Absolute pleasure. Well, what a finale. Sunset, all Dinger Beach, McLaren Vale, South Australia. Does yeah. it get any better? Absolutely not, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure having you. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for showing us around. Anytime. Look forward to seeing you again. Coming up on the next episode of Wayfarer, the best of Adelaide continues.
because for us it's all about the wine in the glass and many of our best known wines including Grange, including our flagship Quantum from California are blend where the fruit is selected on to merit to suit the style. Uh, so food philosophy here is probably sticking to local producers. Um, we work closely with a lot of guys that do things just for us, um, grow things for us, vegetables for us, um, and not sort of, sort of cutting out the middleman, not sort of using the, the people who are exporting or yeah. producing massive amounts.